Hello my fellow car modelers, how are you doing today? We got a really cool how-to for you and uh, right now we're going to be taking a break from uh, doing the Silvino's JR NASCAR Next Gen Camaro. If you haven't watched those videos, check this out. This is such a cool kit. We'll get back to that in a little bit. But I'm going to be getting on this old thing. Do you guys recognize this? If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you might. We've done uh, quite a bit of how-to's on this baby, so we're going to do another how-to on this little junk body I've been holding it forever. We'll see you here, you know, after the music. So, do you remember way back when, some four years ago I think it was, that I showed you guys how I take deck lids out and doors and whatever, whatever you want to cut. So if you haven't watched that and know the tool that I use to take this off, go watch this video right there. It's way back in the library, but I'm telling you, it's worth pulling up. But what we're going to do now that we have the deck lid out, this is probably one of the most requested how-to's I get, is how to make hinges. I'm going to show you how to make some hinges. Pretty easy way to make hinges. We already have the deck lid cut out. Here, let's get this out of the way, and I'm going to show you what we need. The tools you need, well, we've got a couple necessary tools. i got a flat nose, needle nose type pliers. And I have this guy right here that is like round. These are kind of like my shaping tools I use. And I got a various other types of, of uh, needle nose pliers in different shapes, you know, that if that if I need it, I, I have them, you know, right over there. This is a piece of KNS tubing and steel and all that stuff. And rods and wire and whatnot. This is just a piece of brass wire or rod. Let's see, let's see what size this is. We're looking at uh, 0 0.032. So what that would be. Uh, this uh, piece of rod here has seen much better days. It's good to have a nice fresh one. I happen to not and I had this one that I used for poking glue bottles for years and other things. I kind of cleaned it up a bit. It's really best to have one that's nice and perfect and straight but you know we'll, we'll make do with what we got. And one other thing you need Protec heater hose. What? Protec heater hose? What the heck do you need heater hose to make hinges? I'm going to show you. That's why you're watching, right? This stuff is what you're going to need. It's pretty much the materials and, of course, glue. I am going to use CA glue, but uh, quite possibly my uh, extra thin might work out, but we will see. We'll get to that point in a moment. Oh, one other tool you need. Got to have some cut and side dikes there because, uh, well, you know, I got to cut this wire, so... Let's uh let's get on with this. We're gonna start by prepping this situation. Let's tape this up. And make sure you are right where you want to be with this too. It's flat, it's it's right at its spot that needs to be. And then on the bottom, you wanna keep it like down here. Okay, get that all taped taped up pretty nice, right where you want it. But you want to stay away from this area. This is no. where our work sp workspace is. Ba, ba, ba. Felix says no, but I'm telling you, don't listen to him right ba. now. But don't tell him I said that. I'm going to leave that right there all upside down and everything. Yeah. We need some pieces of wire. So we want to have pretty much equal amounts. I'm going to... I would say that is a little bit, about an inch and a quarter should do us. All right. When we start doing this, and we're going to be doing some bending... I want this to be the part of the hinge that's going to be right here on the deck lid. And then back towards here will be the part that will be there. I like to keep the two pieces together. Sometimes it's easier to wrap a piece of tape around there, but sometimes the tape gets in my way. I'm going to start with the flat ones. Pick a spot that, that we can equally bend it. Probably go about like like that. And about a 45 degree angle will do the job. Now what I want to do is this is where my round ones come in. I just use them as a 
kind of a bender. I'll get it around like that. So you and you don't want something like that to happen, but there you go. That's kind of the shape you're after. You want those things to be exactly the same. You're watching the Lucas C channel on YouTube. This is where the bends are going to get different. You got to decide how you want this, and we're looking at it's kind of got a slope down angle. So because we got a slope down angle, really, let's see. Look at your hinge like that. You got a slope down angle, kind of about like that. So it would look like right about, which this would be easier to keep this all the same. I'm going to take a sharpie. And again, you want to keep your hinges being the same. Right about there. See, we did that right about there. That uh, put it up. What I'm about to bend is going to be just a touch higher than there. So now we got these marks right there. What we're going to be going after is one's got to go bending that way and one's got to go bending that way. But we want them to bend at the same spot. I'm going to hold on to that. Make sure that you're doing it at a perfect right angle. Can I see that? So you want that pointing in that direction and just give it a bend in that direction. Look what we got there. You can get a little more bendy about it. All right. And this one, of course, this one's going to bend in the other direction. Make sure we're lined up nice and straight. It's a lot of eyeball engineering. If you want to get a little more structured with it and be measuring and making sure everything's right, you know, by all means do that because, you know, you're going to have precision involved. Me, I'm not so precise. <laughs> but we can see right here, we've got ourselves some hinges. Pretty well the opposite but equal. I'm probably going to trim this down a little bit. But just let's make sure we got these all bent in the right spot where everything's going to be equal. Because if you get this off too much, your, your deck lid won't lay down right. Everything seems to be pretty equal. It's also a lot of bendability here. You know, you can adjust. That's the nice thing about this, uh, this brass rod is it's very adjustable once you get it get your basic bends. You can get this all moved around where you need it. At this point we're just going to do a little test run here. What we're after is you're going to want to go right about there. I'm going to get this all the way to the end right there. Now a problem you got to realize too is you got to always be looking for is how this opens. You got to make sure where your bends at so the bend can't be too far back. It can't be it can be a little bit more forward, but it's going to open it up the best where you have this peak right here, pretty much just a slightly forward of uh, your door line here, your, your lid line. Want it a little bit like out towards the back over where this bend is more underneath the edge of the lid than at the edge of the body. That's going to be about where we want it is right about there and that kind of gives you the idea how long this piece is. Because of room and all that you also have to understand you got to make provisions for your um, right about here is where your interior tub is going to lay. So you may have to always use your interior tub, make sure that's not going to be in the way, or if there's modifications you have to do. That's all the stuff you got to look for. Could go a little bit more forward, we'll probably put it right about there. Which means I'm probably going to trim this baby right there. I will copy the other side, cut it the same length. Just matching them up, kind of getting. Or you could measure, which is always a nice option. There we are, we've got our hinges. Now, there's a whole lot of, you know, you can tweak it and move it and uh, make it a little better, but that is your basic shape. This is where I like to use this. I know a lot of people who do hinges this very way, but they end up using like 
a piece of rod tubing or brass tubing that they just can slide into but you see you got a whole lot of this going on when you use just a piece of tubing this is brass tube or um, you know I didn't have some styrene tube laying around to kind of show you I want this thing to be tight I want it to when I lift up that hinge it'll stay like that and this is where your heater hose from Protex is going to help you out with that. Let's get this open. I want to thank Charlie for sending me some of this. I looked to do this video and I was out. So This is the best stuff to use for this because you need basically that size insulation. If you have anything like that, you know, it'll work. But this is what we're after. It's a tube. Now he has wire cord in there, so I'm stripping it. What I want is the insulation. I want this tubing. And I can take this now and slide it onto there. It's tight fitting. It slides right on there. See that? Go ahead and trim it off. And you take that tubing slide it onto this end here find your end cut it off see what we've got there so I'm holding this tight and you can move that around and it just holds it in place another thing that this does because it slides here it'll help you adjust your your alignment of your of your deck lid too. I am using CA glue. This is where the steady hand part comes. Looks like we've got just a little bit of adjusting to do. Let's get this totally right. I want that to be good. Okay. And glue the areas that we need. A little glue on that and a little glue on that. Hold on to this thing. And I want to put it In its exact spot. Of course, what I've done too is my tape is a little in the way. I need to push some of the tape out of the way. So we're going to try this again. Okay, and we are going to lay it down where we want it. And we got to make sure everything is nice and straight. There we go. It's about where I want it. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and get this one all taken care of and we'll be right back. I've got my hinge all set up. See that? But you also see, by using this for your tube instead of that big honking piece of styrene tube, it also isn't so big and lunky. It looks a little better and uh, easier to hide. A lot smaller. A lot smaller. I know it already has. I just want to get... We're all in place there. I'm going to pull carefully, pull my tape off. I don't want that disrupting what I got going there and break those hinges. Got to be careful. And there we go. You got your hinges all in place. And my advice is when you put these on, let your glue set up. I'm kind of in a hurry because we're making a video here and I've been fighting my, my glue's been breaking away. It's not totally set up, so it's still a little fragile. But we've got it to where, you know, it is. Also another thing I would do for the sake of just doing this video on the hinges, I didn't concentrate because I know there's going to be people saying that. Well, what about the drip rails or what goes around you know to make this an accurate looking trunk lid you know yeah i usually will take styrene and i will make you know the shapes of the sheet metal that's you know in the trunk when it's opened but you know you can see for the sake of this video we're just showing you how we have hinges now and look at that it stays up that's the advantage of using that tubing or using the heater hose from protec grips on to that wire that we're using that brass wire and 
holds that deck lid up. See that? It stays up pretty good. You got a lot of tweaking and moving around. Take your time with it. You know, I, I did a kind of a fast one here. You can make them look really, really good. But that's the basics of making hood hinges. It works for doors. I've done it with doors or even hood hinges. I mean, deck lid hinge and trunk hinges. Jeez, I'm all over the place. Sorry, people. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I babble. We all know that about me if you're a regular watcher. But there you go. There's your hinges. Let's just show you how they work from this angle. Pretty cool. Look at that. Hinges. Hinges. Trunk hinges. We love it, don't we? Hey, I'm glad I can help. Thanks a bunch for tuning in and watching. Let's shut the trunk. Nobody steals the groceries. Hope you learned something here. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any ideas of how you do this. If you think it would help people out, by all means, throw it down there. It's modeling. We all have different ideas of how we do things, and I always like checking out what other people do. This is my way. Brass wire rod. And let's not forget Protec heater hose. That's just the perfect size. All worked out. And look at how it's just holding that deck lit up. That is awesome. And shut that. You guys have fun with your modeling. It's a lot of fun. We all know that. Why do we build model cars? Because they're fun. <laughs> I mean, that's, just, that's how I do uh, Here's a producer. kind of taking a break from the Salvino's JR next gen Camaro NASCAR now nah, I'm gonna do that over again because I just hate everything about it it all really sucked <laughs>